Our topic for today is about phases of fish culture. Content standards. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. Performance standards. The learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. Learning competency. First, discuss the phases of fish culture. Second, identify common fishes according to their habitat. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to identify and define the three phases of fish culture, fish cultivation, fish propagation, and fish conservation, based on given examples and descriptions. Differentiate the classifications and types of fish cultivation and propagation by providing concrete examples of practices applied in aquaculture. Short review. Identify whether career or business opportunities. 1. Fish handler. 2. Fish caretaker. 3. Research officer. 4. Aquaculturist. 5. Fish supplier. 6. Fish farm owner. 7. Fishery technician. 8. Fish wharf operator. 9. Fish distributor 10. Fish trader. Identifying pictures. Unlocking content area vocabulary. Estuarine refers to something related to or characteristic of an estuary, which is the tidal mouth of a large river where the tide meets the stream. Aerial view of river estuary and coast, Camarines Sur, Pacific Coast, Luzon, Philippines 2008. Spawning refers to the process by which fish, shellfish, and certain other aquatic organisms release eggs and sperm into the water, typically for the purpose of reproduction. Adults of fish spawn in shallow water. Mimics. Things or beings that imitate or copy the appearance, behavior, or characteristics of something else. Salinity concentration of dissolved salts, primarily sodium chloride, table salt, in water. It is often expressed in parts per thousand, PPT, or as a percentage. Brackish water. Occurs when the fresh water from a river or lake meets the salty seawater of an ocean body. Phases of fish culture. Fish culture embodies the human effort in raising or maintaining the maximum productivity of all bodies of water and in maintaining fish supply in order to satisfy human needs. To attain these, fish culture has three different aspects namely, fish cultivation, fish propagation, and fish conservation. Phases or aspects of fish culture. 1. Fish cultivation. 2. Fish propagation. 3. Fish conservation. 1. Fish cultivation. The rearing of fish under controlled or semi-controlled condition. It seeks to produce as high a quantity as possible of graded fish, uniform size, or two to produce the most weight. Classifications of fish cultivation are the following. A. Intensive utilize limited area with very high investment. B. Extensive utilize wide area with minimal capital and very low production. C. Semi-intensive employs some or the majority of the modern techniques of production. 2. Fish propagation The process of increasing fish life either by natural or artificial means of reproduction. This means that fish may be allowed to mature and multiply by themselves. Types of fish propagation. A. Natural propagation. Fish reproduce naturally in their habitat through spawning, where eggs are fertilized externally or internally. B. Semi-natural propagation refers to a breeding approach that involves a combination of natural and artificial methods. In this method, fish are allowed to breed in a controlled environment that mimics their natural habitat to some extent, but with some level of human intervention. C. Artificial propagation. This involves human intervention to control the breeding process. It includes methods like stripping eggs and milt, sperm, from fish and then fertilizing the eggs externally. Three, fish conservation, the scientific means of utilizing fish and other fishery aquatic products, resources. This could be accompanied by observing fishery laws, rules and regulations affecting fishery products.
Importance of fish conservation. Conservation and sustainable management of fish biodiversity are essential for the well being of both aquatic ecosystems and human societies, supporting ecological integrity, economic development, and the cultural heritage tied to these remarkable aquatic creatures. Thank you so much.